Thomas is here at Paris Hill, St. Jordan, once again. But the murals, which were done by Christopher R. L. Chandler, looking down to the Andrews factory, the key and ground just opposite Andrews factory. And this will lead you back to St. Jordan, by the Paris. This will lead you back to Coffee Gully, Branchberry, Horse Hill, and Bathsheba, all in St. Joseph. And it will also lead you back to the east coast of the island as well. So these murals here are depicting things here in St. Joseph. Like roundhouse restaurant and inn. At Bathsheba, St. Joseph, Flower Forest is at Richmond and St. Joseph, Naniki Lush Life Resort and Restaurant is also at, 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 at Horse Hill in St. Joseph, the ZT Surfboard is at Bathsheba, so this is basically the back of Bathsheba, via Lame, Bathsheba, via Coffee Gully, here we hear Lame, what am I saying, Bathsheba, via Gwali Adams and Morris Secondary School, Coffee Gully, Branchberry, and back to St. Elizabeth Village and those areas. And these are all the paintings here on the walls. ZT surfboards. So I would like to take a walk through Paris Hill now. Back to St. Anne's Church. That's great. All the paintings here at Paris Hill. Animal faces here on the walls here at Paris Hill. So, Andrews Factory is just down below here. And Andrews Factory was closed in 2013 to be opened as a multi purpose factory, but that plan did not work out, so it is just there now with a highway fence surrounding it to keep away trespassers. I will head through here shortly. All the paintings here on the wall, the lion face and so on. Parish of St. Joseph at the moment, which is in the, to the eastern side of the island. St. Joseph and the hands of the two Scotland district parishes, and they are to the east of the island. We refer to as the Scotland district because of their resemblance to the Scotland countryside, and they are the parishes that carry the mosses. All the layer of face. Go to the 
think there's a lot to pass through. Oh, Paris here, we cut right here. We're gonna take a walk through here now. And show you guys through Paris Hill. This is the zebra, the zebra, the giraffe, the hippopotamus, and the chimpanzee, the eagle, the ape, the snake, the elephant, the cricket stumps the camel, the, the, the fox, the hardy hyena, and the list of animals engrafted in this cut rock. So I walk to Paris now and make my way over to St. Anne's Church. Where this peach house is was a shop years ago. My main mother was going to school at St. Anne's to here. Oh, Paris Hill. So I'll be making my way over to St. Anne's Church once again. St. Anne's Anglican Church. So this is all the Scotland countryside here in Barbados. You can see the Paris Hill New Testament Church of God here in the background. And this was also a shop here years ago. That's because you're looking back up in Paris Hill again. All of Paris Hill. So, this road will be about the St. Anne's Church. We got Airy Hill, Lamings, Sugar Hill. St. Bernard School. So my mother went to school through here at St. Anne's. Oh, Paris Hill. Hello. That's good, it's all Paris Hill, all up in here. So I'm now heading to St. Anne's Church, which is in Paris Hill, St. Joseph. St. Anne's Church is on top of the hill at Paris Hill in St. Joseph. Yes, guys, all oh, back up to Paris Hill. This is a gully here. So this is St. Anne's Church Wall over here. All the gully here. The lawn for St. Anne's Church has been cut. So 
This is St. Anne's Anglican Church here on the hill here. Here at Paris Hill. Yes guys, this is St. Anne's Anglican Church which sits at Paris Hill. This will be the final resting place of my grandmother, which is my mother's mother, and my mother's father, which is my grandfather. Uh, all laid to rest here at St. Anne's Churchyard. So St. Anne's Church was built in, 19, in 1853 and consecrated in 1855. And it sits on Paris Hill, St. Joseph. So my grandmother and grandfather are all buried here. And my mother and aunt and two uncles went to school at St. Anne's. For those of you who don't know, my first, my grandmother was from St. Thomas, but she married to her, which is my grandfather, my mother's father. And she moved to St. Joseph afterwards. But she was originally from Carrington's village in St. Thomas. And for those of you who don't know who my grandmother is, Miss Mears in Branchbury that had the shop. Next to the gardens, that is my grandmother. Yeah, yeah. So now we're approaching St. Anne's Church now. Anne's church and the church wall here. Straight up would be to Lamings, via Sugar Hill and Erie Hill and St. Bernard School and this area here is known as Retreat. So this is St. Anne's church. This time Paul saying welcome to St. Anne's church. But this church was built between 1853 and 1855. The first cornerstone was laid in 1853. The church was consecrated in 1855. St. Anne's Churchyard here. Here at Paris Hill in St. Joseph. And the cemetery. And this is about the area here. You can see the weather radar, the Doppler weather radar at Castle Grant in St. Joseph, right next to Hunt Gardens. All the church out here, St. Anne's Church here. All Paris Hill, we have building new houses up in here. You see the sunset in the back room. This is called St. Anne's Anglican Episcopal Church. Here at Paris Hill in St. Joseph. You can see houses up in here. And this is the church hall. St. Anne's. This was once a part of the school building where my mother, aunt, and two uncles received their primary education, but they demolished the rest of the school building, so only this half is still standing. It was at the church hall. When the church was being under repair between 2004 and 5, they had to meet in here. So this is St. Anne's Anglican Episcopal Church here at Paris Hill in St. Joseph front of the church. You can see some good farmland in the background as well. You can see the antenna for CBC as well which is that Sturges in St. Thomas. 
So this is the beautiful Scotland countryside of Barbados. All oh, St. Anne's Church, Anglican Episcopal Church. Thanks for watching guys and have a blessed evening. As I now show you around St. Anne's Church in a separate video.